But what's going on, toxic gamers? We're just gonna get right into it because holy smokes, that ain't no joke. Is okay, hide your kids, hide your wives. You gotta get into this story here because the entire gaming community is up in arms and everybody's going off right now. IGN gave Dragon Age Veilgard 9 out of 10. Can you believe it? If you're part of the Asmund Gold community over on Reddit and you try to join Dragon Age Veilgard, the Veilgard over on Reddit, you're gonna be automatically banned as well. So there are reports going around. Like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. I wanna know like where everybody's at. Shout out to the homie Andy Pants and Asmund Gold. I wanna play you this clip. The title of this video, however, is New Dragon Age is Trans Simulator 2025. Oh man. Roll. Hey guys, I'm just going to get right into it today without talking much about it. Um, Dragon Age Veilguard is uh, one of the biggest video game disasters of all time. And I think this clip will be the tombstone on this game. And just a little context here, the chick in the middle believes that she has misgendered somebody. And so she must do push-ups as payment or atonement for misgendering somebody. So let, okay. let's watch um, this okay. absolute insanity unfold. Holding that snake's nose, she's still holding the ruby in her other hand. Maker's panties, I was so proud. Oh, uh, um, uh, 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 shit. Uh? They, they. Oh no, we have sinned against the gods of transcend. Oh, okay. Oh crap. What the hell? Jeez, I was so proud. Oh, uh, um, ah, uh, shit. They, they're still holding it. Sorry. Well, what are you doing? Pulling a barb. Oh, okay. A barb? Tradition in the Lords of Fort- So in, in their obsession with stealing things that men do, um, if you've ever, ever been in a guy community, sometimes, you know, in the military, they'll say, drop and give me 20. Um, if you did something wrong, if you have to atone for something. So so this is her way of atoning for the quote unquote wrong that she's done, even though that we know yeah. that trans, being trans is a mental disease. You need to go to a mental hospital because you're insane. Um, but she believes that she has done something wrong according to the imaginary rules that these insane degenerates make up. But let's keep watching. June from one of our old members, Barb. Good guy, but like most of us, his plans went sideways a lot. Bad blood among your crews, not good for morale, but there's not always time for big drawn out apologies. So when one of us screws up- So the, the um, chick with the horns, this is a bastardization of the Konari character. The Konari characters uh, used to be really cool in the first two Dragon Age games, and they, they changed yeah. them. They made them look really gay, and this is a <laughs> trans character, and so she's apologizing for wronging the person with the horns. When we know we've screwed up, we don't quick tend to put it right. Pulling above. Oh, there we go. And, and just wait for the sanctimonious sermon on absolutely nothing that we're about to get. So uh, she can respond, maybe we should use it. Self-improvement and exercise. What? Do you hear that condescension? Oh, you're you're improving yourself by, by playing. You're learning and growing. You know, you're learning and growing. But she only did like 10 push-ups though. Like it's about give me 20, right? So I don't think you're that strong, that independent. But men are always wrong, right? Men are always wrong. Into my delusion. You're improving yourself. She can respond, improving, that's very yeah. open-minded. I'm glad the Lords of Fortune have Tarsh's back. Oh, Tarsh isn't the first non-binary member of the Lords. Really? It was a little before your time, but Horlicks was one of ours. Huh. Bastard looked better than I did in a dress or pants. And out of them too. Huh. This is um, something you hear from a lot of uh, deluded trans people with their dicks hanging out, is they think that they actually look good as women and they don't, it's disgusting. Um, it's profane, it's vile. Uh, but they'll be like, oh, I am so sexy. I'm so, se you're not, you're not sexy. You were born a man, it's gross. So she says, why not just apologize? Mason, you can't just apologize. Sometimes people say, oops, sorry, and hope that fixes it. But they just want to get the whole thing over with. Trust me, I- So this is like new video game 2024. I mean, if you told me that video games would turn out like this 20 years ago or 15 years ago, 10 years ago, man, I would have, because like, listen, man, I'm kind of waiting for GTA 6, right? That's the only game that I'm genuinely waiting for. And I swear to God, I hope that these seconds don't ruin that, man. That's the only game that I'm looking forward to, man, right now. And that's the only game that I'm looking forward to. And if that game turns out to be bad, bruh, I'm gonna just uh, become a monk and settle myself on a mountain in Tibet on December 32nd of the year that game comes out, which I mean, they're saying that GTA 6 is gonna come out in 2025, unless it gets delayed to 2026. <laughs> you, you never know, it can always get delayed, right? If it gets delayed in, to 2026, then I guess I'll become a monk on December 32nd of 2026, guys. What the, what the actual hell? What is going on right now? What is going on right now, man? I don't want to play the Asmongold clip in a second too, wait for it, but... I know, but pulling a barb, you sweat a little, makes you think about it a little more, shows the other person you mean it. Well, what if they mean it when they say they're sorry, though? And that's the other reason. Some people... See, when, when you wrong... <laughs> Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry, y'all. We live in freaking clown world, dude. See, when you wrong, see, when you wrong a trans person, you have to atone for your wrong. It's not the woman with his uh, BBC hanging out. You must bow to me and apologize, bruh. I mean, bruh. It's not enough that you've done wrong. You have to pay for your perceived quote unquote Holy. sins in their eyes. 
Um, oh and, and I'm going to give you my full thoughts on that. Let's get to the end here. Or mess up and get all dramatic. They make it about them. Oh, you know, I didn't mean it right. I never. No, I did mean it. You're gross. You'll never make it as a, you know, I'm speaking to a trans person now. You'll never make it as a woman. You're born a man and it's gross and it's nasty and it, and God hates it. I do that on purpose. They feel so bad about it that it's on everyone else to smooth it over and make them feel better. Oh, oh, okay. Yes, some people might do that. Pulling a bar puts it on the person who screwed up. They made the mess. They fix it. Done. No, there was oh, no mess. Man. I called you what you were born as. Sometimes ah. people say, oops, sorry, and hope that fixes it. But they just want to get the whole thing over with. Trust me, I know. But pulling a bath, you sweat a little. Makes you think about it a little more. Shows the other person you mean it. Well, what if they mean it when they say they're sorry, though? Yeah, like, what, 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 yeah, exactly, right? What if they, they mean it when they, they say it? Bro, this, this is just... What the actual hell is going on in video games right now, bro? What the actual hell, man? And uh, I, I'm not into Dragon Age, right? So I don't know much about it. But what I'm hearing is that, like, people are saying, like, this is one comment that I saw, and he also pinned it, right? So, yeah, if you're a Dragon Age fan, let me know if this is true or not. It's worse than you think, the guy says. That chick in the middle who misgenders that thing is Isabella, a recurring character of Dragon Age 2. And uh, I'm assuming DA2 means. And Isabella is, like, the last person who would facilitate people's insanity like this. Her entire character in DA2. Dragon Age 2 was about suffering zero bullshiza. She always called a spade a spade. She did that even with herself. And I've read like other, uh, other people comments and basically people are saying that in previous Dragon Age games, they were actively against that crap and now they're becoming that. Uh, oh, and we're literally seeing, and of course, like these are just a uh, couple of first, uh, first couple of clips. Uh, get ready, man. We even got more, man. We got more. And that's the other reason. Some people mess up and get all dramatic. They make it about them. In every religious faith, whether you're Jewish, whether you're Islamic, whether you're Christian, um, there is a need for atonement of sin. And so ha have we ever had a more clear display of the cult of LGBT, the cult of trans? Uh, um, mm. This is a kind of atonement in their religion. You have committed a sin. Uh, what's atonement? Like define atonement. What, what does that mean? In their religion. But here's the thing. It's fucking imaginary. This is why these people are so insufferable because they've made up sins they've made up rules that aren't rules and they're judging you against their rules but here's the even more evil thing they're judging you against depraved and evil rules mm. they've made up depraved evil and wicked rules and now they're judging how good you are at sinning because their whole existence is sinful oh my god my they're goodness. judging you against that and pardon my french here because i am a christian but fuck that hey! Fuck ah! that. Let me just say here because I, I am a Christian and I'm just going to represent my religion here. Yeah, yeah. There is an atonement. There are sins. We sins do commit real, sins. Who, how are you sin. going to pay this? The, the people who made this game? <laughs> but, but calling a man a man is not a sin. Uh, Don DeMarco, real quick. DeMarco. Right there. Damn, Andy Pence kind of going off right now. Brad got zero. He got zero filter on. You know, it's like zero filter, bro. He got zero filter on, man. This is crazy. This. And I have never seen gamers actively call out, and of course, like, you guys are calling it out as well, I'm calling it out, a lot of people are calling out this bull squash, because, it, bro, it is bull squash. Like, what the actual hell is going on in video games right now? We have seen so many franchises, so many games being destroyed. Uh, recently, the Tomb Raider, we all know what happened with Tomb Raider, they turned Lara Croft into Larry Lorenzo, you know that BBC Samurai in Assassin's Creed, I forgot to salute him in this video, I guess we're gonna do it like in the next video, <laughs> guys, please don't be uh, mad at me, because usually you guys, if, if I ever forget, I forgot to salute him. Uh, but whenever I do, you guys are always in the comments, yo, excuse me, uh, you, you, you forgot, you forgot to salute the Captain BBC, I mean, what the hell? What the hell, guys? Like, come on, man! I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm never gonna talk to you if you remind me of that, okay? But here's the, oh damn, Laura, Laura, come on, Laura, damn, oh. man. Damn, man, press X to jump right there, girl. Alright, let's get to it. Let's get back to the content here, boo boo. But the situation is diabolical here. It, it's over. It's Joe over. It's Dunzo. It's Fineto. It's over, guys. <laughs> the people who committed the sin of making this game, who's gonna atone for your sin one day? Calling somebody, calling somebody a man when they're a man is not a sin. Calling somebody a woman when they're a woman is not a sin. But um, leading people astray with this trans propaganda, who's gonna atone for your sin one day? I hope it's Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ is forgiving. He will forgive you of your sin. Um, but uh, isn't it, it, it is so interesting to me though, that these people do understand because they're made in the image of God, they understand on some level it is about atonement and who is gonna atone for your sins. And these people are realizing 
or rather they're not realizing that they need somebody to atone for their their sins they're evil what's the atonement i i guess i'm getting a little bit of the the context behind it when he says the whole sentence but i still don't know what that means exactly and look, and look, I'm evil too. We all need somebody to atone for our sins. And I hope that it's Jesus Christ. I hope Jesus Christ is atoning for your sin. All right, okay. so let's go on okay. to the next horrible clip here. So okay. um, there's two characters, uh, Dorian and Iron Bull, that were either like gay or trans or something. And this this degenerate loser, um, NIB, um, he's, he's making the argument. There's seemingly a lot of anger or ridicule about some LGBTQ dialogue in Dragon Age The Veil Guard because he's obviously a, a homosexual degenerate. As a reminder, scenes like this were in the now decade-old Dragon Age Inquisition, the game some implied was DA when not woke. Ask yourselves why you weren't as mad then. Except, oops, this chick, Christina Tasty, absolutely bodies the guy. And what she shows here, um, as we'll see in a second, what she shows here is yeah! that- Yeah, yeah, this is the one I saw. This is the one, yo, oh, yo, this is the one I saw. Yeah, this, this right here. This is the one I saw. This is the one I saw. Yo, okay, now it's going to start to make sense. So I'm assuming this is the old game and they were actively being against that crap. And now they're adding that crap, right? And this is not just one game. This is not just like, hey, let's uh, let's be strong. Let's be independent in one game. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey. Okay, let's get to it, man. I'm getting distracted out here. These newer clips from Dragon Age Inquisition were a retcon and a change to the lore of the original two Dragon Age games. So, oops. But let's, we'll, we'll watch them real quick. That's what we call someone born one gender, but living like another. In Kunadar, Krem would be an Akuna block. That's what we call someone born one gender, but living like another. A person is born, Gunari or human or elven or dwarf. He doesn't choose that. The size of his hands, whether he is clever or foolish, the land he comes from, the color of his hair, these are beyond his control. We do not choose, we simply are. And Boom. Based, based <laughs> Dragon Age, uh, 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 shitting all over your wow. modern, modern cultural moment. Dayon dropped a nuke though. And yeah, a lot of people are going off right now, understandably, because you just saw this the games used to be based and now the games are woke uh and uh okay let me get back over man i'm getting hella distracted out here yo lara looking good though uh but, but and, and this is what they done to lara croft right now man you know it's lorenzo uh and, and yes i uh, hear uh, she's looking like the mcdonald's version right it looks like that she was on the, the fries 24 7 and this is a Call of Duty skin, right? We we all saw the the tomb the latest Tomb Raider debacle that happened like a couple of weeks ago at this point. And in that one, uh, uh, Lara Lara ended up getting the Abby the Brock Lesnar treatment from Last of Us Two, right? Bruh. With the buff arms, with the jawline, with the chin. So it's not no longer like a like a queen. It's a king. They always turn my queens into King Kongs, bruh. They always do that to my queens. My queens be turning out to be King Kongs nowadays. It is it is sad, guys. Let's go for two likes on the video, bro. Like this is this. Is Sorry, genuinely. boo. And on, okay, jokes aside, it's, it's pathetic, bro. They always do that, bro. You know, I don't treat those Akuan people any differently than a real man. I don't understand. You look like a woman. Why would women ever wish to be men? That makes no sense. Any differently than a real man. I don't understand. You look like a woman. Why would women ever wish to be men? That makes no sense. Women are priests, artisans, shopkeepers, or farmers. They don't fight. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys! How how angry the, these modern broken uh, no. degenerates that were working on Dragon Age? Was so this is like before and after. So this is original. This is remastered. <laughs> Let's check in on who was hired to ride for Dragon Age Veilguard. Oh, that's what the homie says. Okay, so brother became a sister. Okay, brother joined the sisterhood. Yeah, welcome to the Queen Land. Welcome to the Queen Land. I guess. I guess. I guess not. Was uh, sorry, Dragon Age Veilguard. How angry do you think they were at that at being played? I'm gonna let the queens whether they want to accept him in the sisterhood or not. Okay. A clip from old Dragon Age games. So, the the old Dragon Age taught the original Dragon Age games taught that you were man, born a man or a woman, and you can't change it. And furthermore, this character says, "Why would you want to change it? That's stupid." <laughs> yeah, like why you want to switch sides? Like, but it's like as we now switching sides, like they were in a Call of Duty lobby. Uh, yeah, okay, we're gonna actually just skip. Oh, hey, whoa, 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 tranquilo, tranquilo, Habibi, tranquilo, man, tranquilo, tranquilo, Lara, tranquilo, tranquilo. So, um, I just thought that was an incredible clip, but let's watch, um, another incredibly cringy clip from the game, and people are saying that, uh, uh, despite this being a heterosexual romance, people are saying that it still feels incredibly gay somehow, so let's, so let's watch this. Please listen, you're not alone. Whatever's out there, we'll face it together, I promise. Together. I could kiss you right now. I'm going to kiss you right now. Please. Why do the why do the character models like look so bad in this game? They have like this 
They always change my queens, like I just said. They always turn my queens into King Kongs. Uh, this was not my queen, for, by the way, but, but I'm just like trying to say, for example, like Lara was my queen, right? So this is the old Lara. They remastered her. They gave her the Abby Brock Lesnar treatment from the last of us two. <laughs> bro. <laughs> Man, these suckers are crazy, bro. These suckers crazy. Uh, I play, and the amount of videos that I've already seen on the Dragon Age, it's not stopping. This is... Uh, uh, man, we had the Concord situation. Concord ended up shutting down. Now we got Dragon Age. We had the Assassin's Creed BBC Shadows, uh, right? That situation, that game is getting delayed, of course. We had the Star Wars. What else, guys? What else? What else we had? What else we had? We had, like, uh, uh, Suicide Squad. Yeah, right? Exactly. Saints Woke, Saints Roll. Studio got shut down. We had the Sweet Baby Ink situation. We recently just had the Call of Duty Operator thing as well. Uh, you know, uh, we had that situation too. That's, I mean, bruh. bruh. The women are not attractive. Like, everybody has, like, kind of a dude face. Everybody has, like, a really chunky, blocky dude face. Yeah, um, King Kong, huh? King yeah, Kong. Because, yeah. King Kong treatment. Brock I Lesnar treatment. Right I'm going to kiss you right now. At least there's some. Bruh, yeah, like, hey, hey, tranquilo, tranquilo, papi chulo, tranquilo. Something really needs to happen, you're up. Hey, whoa, 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 time off. Oh, he you died. The world. Oh, he died. Bomba card. He died. He died. That's the sweet baby, sweet baby and Kissel. That's right there. He died. Magic. There we go. Bumble you make the world God. spin, Lace Harding. Look, Lyrium. It's like I'm infused with Lyrium. I noticed it when we touched that night when we talked about your dreams. You. Yeah, I see what they're. Wow, I feel drunk. Yeah, I see what they're talking about. For uh, for some reason, it feels it felt it felt like two dudes just kissed. Um, which is uh, those are the the gay degenerates who work on this game. Um, I think I've commented on this clip before, but just we're, we're doing a complete roundup of all of the cringy stuff from this game. So let's just go ahead and watch it. This oh is this is what God. really uh, bothers me about this. Game. Oh, Sun Grand Studios, nah. Oh. Say psych, say psych right now, man. All the gamers are looking like this, man. In Urdu, real quick, I gotta say, bro. Ye machhar kalni ke bhi jo bharve hai na, wo bhi itne chuti hai nahi jitne ye madar chot ke bache chuti hai. Yar saale kutte kutte the bache aur doob ke mar jao yar. Doob ke mar jao tum log pehen jo. This game is. Whether the person is male or female, everybody's trying to sound like really sexy for some reason. It's like, even if it's a chick dressing up as a dude or a dude dressing yeah. up as a chick, like th these people are just disgusting. Like, can you be, you know, a lot of people are talking about the old dark, dark fantasy uh, the genre of Dragon Age one and two. And there were like male characters, there were masculine characters, there were feminine characters. There was characters that were all kinds of different personalities, but every clip that I've seen from this game just has these, it's like people dressing up as drag queens. That, that's what these people sound like. But let's let's watch this insufferable clip one more time. Cookies better. Everyone likes the cookies better. I'll eat the fruit. Thank you, Avatash. Fun ahead, Dad. I'll see you soon. This, 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 this kind of reminds me of Forspoken, that game Forspoken a little bit, where instead of honoring like medieval fantasy and the genre that they're in, they keep taking their freaking current cultural moment with the politics and the disgusting trans stuff, yeah. and they're, they're projecting on... Pol politics got zero place in video games. Zero place. I mean, if if it's a historical game, for example, right, like Ghost of Yoda is about to come out, Ghost of Sushi, Ghost of Tsushima was cancelled, Ghost of Tsushima 2 was cancelled, Jin Sakai story was cancelled, reportedly that's the reports, that's not my opinion, that's what we're hearing. The reason they inserted a female uh, boss queen in that game is because uh, of the agenda driven, right? But if it turns out the game is good and the story is solid and it's accurate and, and they add politics of the 1608, the real one in the game, the historically accurate politics, then that's different, right? But if they add politics, for example, right, Assassin's Creed Shadows of the BBC, perfect example. The game is set in 1600 feudal Japan, but it got politics of today. Basically, they turned Shadows of the BBC character Yasuke, who was not in real life, he was not gay in real life, and they were like, he black, so let, let's just make him gay, right? I'm, I'm like, damn, bro, like, what y'all suck is, y'all never seen a black dude ever? Like, what y'all suck is be doing? They always do that to black people, right? So whenever there's a, and, and we just saw Dragon Age Whale Guard in the, in the beginning, right? Like, the black chick just, like, misgenders her, and then starts, like, doing the 10 push-ups. Man, they can never make a straight black person ever in video games nowadays it's it's just ludicrous it's, it's just crazy bro these things are hella racist 
hella racist they're hella sexist as well right whenever they see a female they're like we gotta turn that queen into a king kong let's give her a king kong treatment we gotta give that king kong jawline brock lesnar jawline right and then it turns out that their jawline is even a buffer is that a word stronger let's just say Bruh. even stronger than brock lesnar and king kong looks like that she bought a beat up brock lesnar just like that with her like uh you know pinky finger let's just say with her pinky toe she's gonna beat brock lesnar even king kong which is just ludicrous that's not realistic guys like come on man stop doing that crap bruh Stop doing that crap, man. Like, leave my queens alone, man. Leave my queens alone. Leave my uh, BBC brothers alone, man. I'm also, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a brown, uh, I'm a brown dude myself. So I also have a BBC. Like, leave us alone, man. Leave us alone. Leave a, leave the BBC brothers alone. Leave my queens alone. Leave our video games uh, uh, alone as well. Uh, is that what I was saying? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, leave the games alone, guys. Medieval fantasy, their moment, and that's truly what I think people hate the most about all this. Like, can medieval games be separate from real life? And, and they're doing the same thing with Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power. They're projecting their current idiotic politics onto a game that has nothing to do with it. But listen to just how like gross and weird they sound. Listen, listen to the guy who's obviously like gay. So the dragon hunter has a softer. So the dragon hunter, like th these people so are disgusting. The, the so the dragon age is like da -de -da 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 -da. guys, it is just I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired, bruh. I'm, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired, bruh. Whatever you do, do not watch this video because the homie Nick Merckx got in the situation with the Call of Duty and all that, right? So we got another disaster going on. Check out this video on the screen. Huge drama in gaming, boys. Huge, huge. Check it out and I'll see you.